Good morning, YouTube. Back again, another video. Um, I told you guys I was going to bring this to you, and I'm going to unbox. I already took the actual bag off. So, it is the Shop Miss A. I ordered this about three weeks ago, and it just now came. I'm at work. My boyfriend brought it to me. Thank you, Jeremy, if you're watching. We thought it was his smartwatch, but it wasn't. Um, I know that the world is in, like, a scurry right now, and everything's just upsetting because of the virus but luckily as i'm speaking now my state in west virginia is not infected but i know in time it'll be here it's just a matter of time and i'm not really prepared honestly and i'm trying to set my phone up i'm still trying to figure out how to use this daggone iphone i bought it and it was supposed to be unlocked oh my gosh okay there we go it was supposed to be unlocked for my service but it isn't so i'm having to use this phone to call and do what i need to do and then my iphone for now is just like an extra phone until i go down to the store the seller told me it was unlocked and it does not work for my phone so i'm very upset about it but it is what it is um i did order quite a few things on here i don't remember exactly what all i ordered so i'm just going to try to unbox it okay now i see what i got now okay I'm going to unbag it and then show you as I unload it. Be, I mean, show you as I review them and I use them. This video may be a little bit long, so bear with me. I don't really remember everything that I bought. Okay, here we go. Alright, so that's the package. It always comes in a bag and like bubble wrap. If you order more than $35, I think, or $30, you get like free shipping. But I got dollar shipping because I think on Tuesdays they have like a, uh, like a dollar shipping, I do believe. So, I'm going to start off with a couple things here that I ordered. I have been adventuring into lashes, you guys. And I got three pair by the looks of it. And then I got some other things, which I was excited to get. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the sponges that I bought. I bought the Pawpaw Sponge Wonder Blender. They say that this guy swells like double the size. And it works just as much as the other ones. Or like name brand ones. Um, <clears throat> I have ordered from the shop before, and I actually like all the stuff that I get thus far. I'm going to open it. I always like to put them back in the bag, but I'm not going to. Uh, this beauty blender is $1.55, you guys. And if you don't know, Shop Miss A donates everything that they get after a dollar to the foundation that you choose. I used, um, I think the pawpaws is for the animal research. It says part of proceeds go to, tour part of proceeds will go towards protecting animals against abuse which i stand for completely holy moly that's so soft okay that's cool so that's the first thing that i got it was a dollar 55 um i'm gonna show you when i get it wet afterwards but i'm just gonna review this real quick i did not expect this one to be mini i don't believe it told me on there that it was a mini but i totally needed one so i'm completely happy with it um the mocha this one don't go to wait a minute Okay, no. This one don't have any proceeds, I don't guess. If it does, I don't... Oh, wait, A+. plus. Yes, A+, plus means that it goes to children's education, which I completely stand for. That's one of the reasons why I order from the shop is because they donate money that they don't get from... Well, I don't want to say that because that's wrong. Okay, they <laughs> they donate to the facilities. Anything with the A+, plus goes to children's schooling. The paw print goes to animals. And I think there was something else, but I'm going to have to look forward to look into that but i totally needed one of these for my concealer and i got it for double ended or like whatever you call that i guess it would be a double end it's kind of like a contour sponge the one that i had was broke so i'm glad or it was chipped and it's been through quite a few days in its life so i got rid of it the next two things I got were brushes. I needed eyeshadow brushes, so I bought these. Um, I don't remember what I paid for these. But I bought the medium shading brush and then the normal shading brush. I'm going to open them for you and review them right quick. I like these kind because they were just... The color of it was what got me. On the site, they look huge, but they're really not that big. So this would fit perfectly in my to-go bag, which I'm very excited about. And yeah, it's just like a shadow brush. I like it. It's cute. And it is Urban Studio. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. There's nothing to read about it. So, yeah. That's the first one. And then the next one is the shading brush. And I think this one's just a little bit bigger than this one. 
I wanted to get smaller brushes because you guys know I have small eyebrows. I mean eyelids. So, yeah. Super soft. Both are very soft, actually. And they're pretty stout. Better than some of the brushes that I've gotten in my subscription boxes. So, I'm happy about that. That was two. I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve things off Shop Miss So, I spent like 20 bucks, I think. No. I spent about $18, I do believe. The next thing I got was the eye glue, eyelash glue, because I needed a new one. And the eyelash glue that I've been buying literally is the worst. Like, it don't stick. It's hard to maneuver. You can't get it on the band of your eyelash, and it just is annoying as can be. So, yeah, this one is with the A+. Again, it goes to children's school. Um, it is waterproof, hydro, hypoallergenic, and no irritation. It is in the color black. And it does, um, it does come with a tip. I'm going to open it for you guys, the felt tip, which is what I like. I don't like the fact that I have to use, like, I don't know if you guys do this, but I use, like, the end of a brush, and then I'll, like, put it on the band, and then, like, wait, and then stick it on. I don't know. That's just me. Okay. I hope everyone is staying safe out there with this virus going around. I'm very scared that we're going to get it. I'm, I'm shocked that my city, I mean, my state, let alone is the only city or state, I keep saying city, state that's not infected with this virus. But I think that, like, I'll be honest with you guys, like, everybody is selling out of toilet paper. Like, the toilet paper frenzy is, like, a serious matter. And there's the felt tip, which I like. It smells like normal eyelash glue. It is AOA Studios, by the way. I didn't tell you that as well. They say AOA is, like, the best brand of the site, so... I'm cool with that. Now, the next thing I'm going to go with is my lashes. I got three pairs, you guys, and they look like this. I have been buying lashes from here, if you guys don't know, for quite some time. And I like all of them, honestly. Um, this one is called um, the Premium Lashes Natural Luxury. This one is Carissa. The way they looked online was, like, super cute. So, I was, like, into it. I'm getting to where I want to wear, like, longer eyelashes. And I think these are all synthetic. I can't tell. But that's what these look like. I've been adventuring into lashes here recently. I do wear them sometimes and sometimes I don't. Normally when I do like a fancy look, I'll wear them. I did buy two of these lashes. I, I did not notice this until like after I ordered it. But I got two pair of the Carissa lashes. Let me see if I can show you without being upside down. I did buy two of these. I wanted to get something different and I bought two. I don't have makeup one day. I wasn't going to plan on wearing makeup today, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try some of this because, you guys, I'm excited. The next pair I got are Jessica, and they look like this. These, I don't know why. But I was going to order these the first time, and I didn't. I should have ordered them, but I didn't. And I'm glad I got them now. And they look like this. Kind of wispy. These are supposed to be a mink lash because I guess it's a mink. A little bit longer than these. I mean these. They're a little bit longer, but yeah. I'm excited to try these things on. It's just been, it's been a rough 24 hours, you guys. Between Donald Trump announcing the state of emergency, they've shut down all the schools in my area. It's just been crazy. Now, the next thing comes in a little pack like this. I did buy, I'm sorry if it's really loud, you guys. I'm going to try to cut it. Well, you don't have to cut it. Okay, please. I got the Argon Oil Brush Soap. I needed this because I needed brush soap so bad. It looks like this. It's supposed to be in the scent, um, strawberry? No, peach. I got peach. I've never used something like this, so. It's interesting. Okay, and it comes, oh. Oh, it smells so good. And it comes in like a shrink wrap. And you're supposed to wet your brush and then rub it on this. It kind of looks like rice. Can you see? Like pressed rice with, I don't know. I've never used these things, so I'm new to this. I'm going to open it. I chipped it already. Well. I didn't bring my brushes today. I got a little pack of brushes with me. Normally I bring my whole bag, but today I just didn't. And it looks like this. Wait, did I? Okay, yeah, I chipped it a little bit. I, I don't know. It smells nice. That matters. It does come in this cute little container here. My phone's vibrating, you guys. I'm so sorry. And this was a dollar. Um, I'm hoping this works out good. I'm going to try it while I'm on here with you guys. The next thing I got was the foundation, and I'm hoping it's in the right color. I got buff. From the online, it looked a little lighter than it does in the pack itself. The container is glass. 
Let's see here. I gotta pull the safety seal. They always have safety seals. I'm down for that. And it looks like this. It's buildable foundation, so you obviously can tell it's not gonna be full coverage. And it comes with like a little dropper. I've been trying to find makeup that is like small enough to fit in my um, makeup bag. The collar is pretty close. I think I got the right one. And it's supposed to. Oh, it's very watery. Ooh. There you go. Very, very watery. Clearly, you can see it moving down my hand. Okay. I'm going to try this on for you guys while we're here. But I'm going to review everything first. I need a napkin. I didn't grab a napkin. Makeup wipes here in my bag. My allergies have been high today. Ugh. I'm not sick, thank God. I hope I don't get sick. The next two things I needed, I'm going to throw this away now, was the setting powder. And I got it in banana, I do believe. Yes, I got it in banana. And it, oh, it's come open on me. It looks like this. It's AOA. I paid a dollar for this as well. Um, and I got one more thing that I'm going to show you. It's kind of smaller than I anticipated. Anticipated. Oh, my gosh. I just wasted, like, half of it. When I went to open it, it, like, blew up on me. Oh my, this really is yellow though. Oh my gosh, I made a mess. Ugh. But it looks like this. I made a huge mess. I don't like messes. It's all over my hoodie. And the desk. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean this up. <laughs> I'm gonna dust it off into the floor. I'll clean it up later. Oh my gosh. Ah, made a mess. Um, this is like your hand size, honestly, like it's super small, but for just what I need, it's perfect because I usually just go under my eyes. I don't know why I didn't get a lighter collar. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have got a lighter collar. The next thing I got, which I'm kind of excited to try, is the eyeshadow primer. And I got it in the color blank canvas. So I try to go with the face color and not just white. I know a lot of people use like a light color. I don't. I don't like doing that. I'm going to tear it to get it open. Which I'm going to throw the box away anyway. So it don't matter. But she's in there. Okay. And it won't come out. And it looks like this. Amuse Cosmetic. And then when you open it. I hope it has a seal. Okay it does not have a seal. Looks like this. I needed some of this because the ones I've been using hasn't been, I'm almost out and it looks like this, super buttery. Hopefully it works out for me because we don't want to use like something that's going to, you know. All right, so you guys, that's my Shop Miss A um, situation. I'm going to go ahead and wet the beauty blenders and then I'm going to, while well, I'm on here with you guys because I don't want to edit the video. So hold on, let me grab a water. All the waters here at work are furrows. Okay, and I got foam cups. It's very cold today, and it's supposed to rain, so I'm not really doing too much. Um, the virus has got everybody freaked out. I went to every store in my area to get toilet paper last night because we were low. Never once thought I needed toilet paper before this whole thing went down, but, you know. So this is what they look like before. I'm going to go ahead and set them in there. A lot of the times, like the ones I've been buying from like my local dollar store, literally grow nine times the size and they're so soft. So I'm hoping these are the same. A bunch of people were saying they were good. So I'm hoping. The little beauty blender that I bought at the dollar store the other day literally did not grow at all. And I was so disappointed because I was like, I want it to be bigger. Oh, these are really taking water good. Girl. Holy moly. Of course, you gotta squeeze them. You're supposed to do this in a sink, but I don't have one at work, so. We're gonna improvise, you guys. Look at how big. Of course, it ain't all the way grown yet. The pink one isn't completely underwater yet. Okay, let's try. Wow, this got you guys. Oh, wow. The water's cold, though, because I just got this fridge. Hold on, let me grab a towel. Paper towel. Oh my god! Uh, it like took all the water! I can't it. Whoa! I filled that whole cup up. Oh wow. I already like this beauty blender now. Wow. Guys. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. Now, I have noticed that a lot of beauty blenders you buy. Look at that. That's huge. Whoa. And it's super soft. Like, you can't tell, probably. What? Wow. I thought people were just, like, gassing it up, you know? Like, oh, God, the beauty blender is cool. This is amazing. Wow. And, like, all the water's gone out of the cup. That's insane. Oh. That might be my new plug. Alright, we're going to put the little one back in there and try to get it bigger. Because it needs to be just a tad bit bigger. I don't want it too big, but I want it big enough to where I can, like, get under my eyes. Yeah, I haven't put makeup on today yet. Usually, I'm already caked up, but I just haven't been doing it today. I just don't, I just don't feel like doing it today. But now that I got this, I'm like, hmm, let me try it all on. So, I'm going to do it on a video for you guys. Um, I'm hoping that I get my phone hooked up, but, Lord... Whether I will or not, who knows. I did receive some other packages for my phone. I got the glass protectors, which I needed. And then my case, my new case. I've been buying cases like they're going out of stock. <laughs> but I went to the mall last night and actually bought a case. But I'm excited to get this one. I paid like $3 for this one. I did believe or 4 for this. And it is a wallet case. I've been obsessed with the wallet cases here recently. Because I don't like carrying my wallet and my phone. So I've been putting them all in... Like one little, oh, wait, is it cut? Okay, no, it's just glue. Okay, cool. And it looks like this. I like the wallet cases. They're just cool. But I do have my glitter case on right now. I got it at Walmart. I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. So, for the price, I guess it's okay. It's a little cheaply made, but it's got like a little thingy on there. Okay. It will. It works. Whatever. All right, let me get my bag. Hold on. I didn't buy any eyeshadows or no primers or none of that. I mean, I bought primer, but I didn't buy no, like, um, eyeshadow palettes because, you guys, I've been living for this Libyan Color palette that I got in my BoxyCharm from Hank and Henry. I love Hank and Henry. And I got my, uh, color swatch and my setting powder from Seattle London. I received them in my last BoxyCharm. And I got my little broken mirror. I didn't bring Jeffree Star mirror today because I didn't want to get it ruined. I do have my other one. This is the other beauty blender. I have, like, crap ton of stuff in my bag. Like, I literally need a video of just explaining what's in my bag. Because I've got a crap ton of stuff. And this is the other beauty blender that I bought. It is, like, worn out and, like, got holes in it. And it looks all ratchet. And just, ugh. So, yeah. I did buy a new perfume at the, um, sweet store of Victoria's Secret last night. And it smells absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean my brushes on the thing. And then I'm going to try to, um use i did in fact order some more brushes i don't know if i got on here and talked about it but i did i do have the poreless putty primer don't i or is it in my okay it's in my makeup bag so i'm gonna have to use my matte wet and wild primer to start but i did in fact buy some brushes offline i was really bummed the month that they give these out i did not receive them and i was really upset about it i don't have all of them with me but i have four I have an edging brush that goes with this. I did wear pink yesterday, so that's why they're pink. I'm going to go ahead and wash them for you and show you if they work. Um, <clears throat> these are the uh, Motor Brushes, Motor Pro Brushes, their eyeshadow collection. They have like a, like a sweet feel to them. Like, I love the grip part. That's the best part. Because I always have trouble holding onto my brushes, so I was happy to see them. Okay, so you just wet it, and then you stick your brush in it. It kind of smells like a chemical, but I can't place what it is. So, I'm going to dip it in the water that I used to make the beauty blender wet. And then I'm just going to rub it onto this. And it soaps up. It's already taking the color off. Then I'm going to dip it and then do it again. I'm probably not going to use my brushes today. I'm probably just going to try on the foundation and stuff. Because I don't feel like really putting on a lot. Oh, look at that. And then I have my favorite towel. What do I do with that favorite towel? Did I throw it away? Yes, I did. Way to go. <laughs> you guys, I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Wash your hands, you guys. Don't buy all the toilet paper. That's ridiculous. I literally, like, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I literally went to the store and bought, tried to buy toilet paper because we didn't get any. And, like, there was none anywhere. Like, I went to, like, five, six different stores and, like, my gosh. So, yeah, it's clean, you guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. 
shut up. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is about to be my new favorite thing. Like what? I want to shout. I want to give a shout out to the cheap chick on here. If you guys don't follow her, you need to go follow her because she's the one who showed me that this app even existed, and I so love this. Like what, girl? All right, this one had like a buttload of pink on it. I probably should have showed you before I started, but <laughs> I forget. This is nice, and it's taking the color off. Of course, you don't want to deform your brushes, so be take it lightly, you know. I feel like I'm painting back in school. Like you, you dip it in the water and then it cleans. And then you rub it on the, the little rag. Wow. Of course it's wet, but it's clean. Like there's no, there's not much color left on the brush. And you guys know I use like Jeffree Star products and his is super pigmented. And um, they're hard to clean. So the fact that this is working so well, and it was only a dollar. Now, of course, you could probably just use normal soap, but they say that, like, certain things, like, don't work for brushes. I have used, like, actual soap, and it does work, but the residue is still there. So, this is, this is crazy. I'm amazed. Oh, I love it. Now, there's still soap on it, so I'm going to have to, like, rinse it again, but I'm not going to hold up my video for it, so... And it does have the smell, and it smells nice. I like, oh my gosh, where have I been? I'm going to get another cup and rinse it. My video is already 20 minutes long, and I'm still not doing what I need to do. So I'm just going to, that's just, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to leave it with that. You show, I showed you that it works. It works. It does good. I don't want to bore you. I feel like I'm boring you. I'm going to go ahead and try on the foundation and the um, eye primer, and then maybe a lash. I might go with the lash today. The water, okay, the soap's not coming out, so it's going to take a minute. So, I'm going to go ahead and just bust out the primer here. And I'm going to use the um, Beauty Blender that I have here. I'm going to stick it into the water and get it nice and wet. Because hard Beauty Blenders are good, but they, I don't know, just, uh, you know. But like I said, you guys, I hope everyone's staying safe and using water and washing yourself. A lot of people... Not only is toilet paper gone in my area, but so is sanitizer, bleach, any kind of Lysol spray is gone. Like, they're saying that it won't be even in stock until, like, the end of the month, and it is the 14th. Yes, it's the 14th, so that's a long time without cleaning supplies. A bunch of people have just bought everything. Like, I watched two people fight to the death, or almost to the death, I think, for, like, toilet paper. And we was in the store yesterday, me and my sister... And we walked in, I'm putting the primer on you guys, and they had one box of toilet paper, and there were individual rolls, and um, the store said they wouldn't have it anymore, and like a bunch of people had done swiped it all, but this lady was just rude, and like she, we had already told the lady that we wanted it, and we were waiting for her to come back, we didn't, we wasn't going to buy it all, we were just going to buy some to get us through, and the lady was like, hell bent on her and she was like i want all, i want the whole box just go ahead and give me the whole box and i was just like girl we need toilet paper too so i'm gonna go in with the aoa buildable foundation i'm just gonna do one top and just see how it looks and i do put it on the back of my hand this is very watery i don't really care for watery foundation but a lot of foundation dries quick so you don't want to you know be slow about it my Ciate London or my um, Becca foundation, I got my boxy charm, does dry pretty fast. So I'm going to do one side and then I'm going to go in behind it and do another one. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on my skin. Okay, it isn't bad, but it isn't covering well. I will give you that. But they said it's going to be buildable, so it's not expected to be perfect. So we're going to see here. This sponge is absolutely amazing. Like, where have I been my whole life? Like, where are you? We need an AOA in West Virginia, you guys. Open one up. Hook us up. Okay. I like. I don't have concealer with me, I don't think. If I do, it's in my car. This is so soft. What? 
Holy moly, where have I been? I just put that on my eyelid and I didn't even realize I did it. Okay, so clearly you can see. I am breaking out a little bit because I got into um, a skincare routine that I thought was going to work and it didn't. But unlike everyone else, I'm not afraid to tell you that I screwed up and show you how bad my skin looks. So, yeah, that's the that's the tea for you guys. Oh, it's been it's been a morning. Got up late. I'm here for 12 hours, so I'm here just to have fun, just to chill out and to do what I need. This beauty blender, oh my, mm. like this ain't nothing. Like this is hard. This is like so soft. Oh my gosh, I'm living for this sponge. Where have I been? Uh, I'm going my nose. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll go in again with another layer and show you if it builds. We'll see how good it builds. But this so far is like a perfect shade. It's not yellow. It's not orange. It's not weird. I don't look like Play-Doh. <laughs> like I put a crap ton on. I am living for this sponge, you guys. What in the... You guys, go to Shop Miss A, buy this thing. It is so nice. For a dollar and 88 cents, I got this. And another thing, like I've been buying sponges my whole life. And I bought a sponge at Dollar Store the other day. This one. It was $2, okay? And the coloring came out. And I was just, like, nervous to use it. Because I was like, oh, my God. It's going to, like, change me. My face is going to be pink. What? So, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I didn't really care for it. I think I used it, like, one time. And then I was done with it. But this, guys, whew. I'm about to order, like, 20 of these. Be ready for the year. With everybody buying everything out, I might as well stock up, right? It's just unfortunate how people act in public. Like, the lady act like she wasn't going to ever see toilet paper again. And I'm like, girl, you got to share. And I know, like, I don't want to be mean when I say it, like, to old people. But, like, she was, like, she was wearing a mask. Her son was wearing a mask as well. But just they just, they didn't, I don't know. I don't want to be mean. I don't want you to come for me in the comments and go, oh, my God, she's being rude. She's being raunchy. But... It was just unreal the way she was acting. I was just, like, in shock. Like, did your mom ever have, like, any manners? Did she teach you any manners? Like, what's the deal? So, yeah, this is good. I think it does cover decent. Like, if you want to wear, like, a cute layer. I didn't do really do good right here. I'm going to wait and let it dry. And then I'll go again with another one. So, I'm going to break out the... Uh, what else did I get? Oh, uh, let's see. Eyeshadow primer. Let's do that next. Okay. And then I'm going to use the top end of this beauty blender which is the mini this was a dollar 55 i do believe or a dollar i can't remember online it looked different than it does in person it didn't appear to be mini and it never even read on there that it was a mini from what i read but i'm glad that i got it anyway because i needed a mini i needed it okay we're gonna let it dry and then i'm gonna do my brows i don't normally go too deep in my brows in the daytime at work i usually just I usually just wear a light amount of makeup. But I've been getting into wearing the winged eyeliner. Like yesterday in my last video, if you've seen, I was wearing winged eyeliner. And I've been getting into it. But I'm going to be honest with you, I absolutely suck at doing a winged eyeliner. <laughs> like, I can't do it freehand at all. It's the worst. So, okay. And I'm going to use my new brushes today since I washed those and I'm not going to be able to use those. So I'm going to use those as well. And then I'm just going to go in. Now, I did buy this at the dollar store for a dollar you got two for a dollar and the top of it is cracked because it's been in my bag and everything is cracked in my bag i didn't bring my bar studio or brow bar gel so i'm just gonna go light and just outline my brows and then i do have a brush in my bag like a little spoilie that i use to blend it out when i'm done it looks like this and i do have my crown brush as well i need to clean it too they all need a bath. They're disgusting. Oh, And then I just blend and I push my brows up. You guys, I need to squeeze my brows, so don't judge me. My, my brows look ratchet right now. I'm just a whole mess today. Anybody else, just on their days off, you just have a day or two where you just don't want to do anything. Literally. Literally me every week when I'm off work. I work night shift. 
And I literally, the day after my night shift, I don't feel like doing a single thing. I mean, I do laundry, but that's just about it. I'll sweep and mop, do dishes, but... Oh, I just... I don't want to do anything. Anything makeup-wise, too. I don't even wear makeup when I'm at home. Because I just don't see the point in wearing it. A lot of my makeup is super expensive, and I don't want to waste it on just me sitting at home being lazy, you know. My brows are extra today. Nobody comes in until later, so I can wipe it off if I don't like it. I just don't want to do the review for you guys. Whoa, that one looks darker than this one. Okay, let me go in a little bit more. Okay. I really don't care what it looks like. Okay, so that's the brows. Done. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is my eyeshadow, right? Yeah, eyeshadow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm going to go in with, um, da -da 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 -da. let's see here. Mm. I'll go in with, like, the, <sighs> they don't match anything I'm wearing. I'm just going to wipe it back off, so it don't matter. I'm going to go in with my medium brush, wait, shading brush, medium shadow. Okay, let's go in with medium shadow first, and then we'll pack it on with this. The number is 214, in case you guys are wondering. These guys are only sold out on the site, so I snatched them up as fast as I could. And it looks like this. Of course, you tap off the access. Don't overdo it, you know. We're going to see how this works. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. Let me see if I can zoom in on my face. Nope, maybe not. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know how to use an iPhone. But it looks like it's putting the collar on decent. No patchy. Which, I know a lot of the products that go patchy is because of the shadow and not the brush. But it is applying nicely. I'm just going to pack it on. I'm going to use that one to blend when I'm done. I usually just pat it on and then I'll blend when I'm done. It's going to rain here in a little bit. Right now, it's just cloudy. Okay. I may do a video in the future where I test these products. And then I um, wear them for a period of time. That way, you can see if they really, you know, last. Like in weather. Like warm weather. Okay, I'm just going to blend. As I always do. I've been weary about using my Jeffree Star brushes on, like, certain things like soap but I did go ahead I went ahead and purchased some uh the holders for your brushes that go over top of the sleeve to hold them in place when you get done washing them that way they don't like splay out and look like a mess because I, I spent too much money on those brushes to just let them be ru ruined because of the soap I usually set them out on my table when I get done washing them and I usually turn on like a heater or a hair dryer and let them blow dry This video is really long. 33 minutes long. You guys are probably quaking like... Click off. I know a lot of people don't like long videos, but I just... I'm bored today. And I got my package finally, and I was excited. My boyfriend's smartwatch did not come, which was annoying because we needed that. We were hoping that it would come. Of course, you use your collar swatch to get the access off or the pigments. And then I can just stick them in there and wash them when I get done. Okay. Boom. And we're done. Okay. And I do need to clean this. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. The next thing I'm going to use is my eyeliner, of course. And it is the Arsali or all Arsali. I got this in a Ipsy bag, I do believe, a couple months back. And then I'm just going to go in and I'll line my eyes. You guys, I've been wearing those magnet lashes that I reviewed. I've been wearing those. And, like, slowly they're, like, not working. So, that's the update on that. Like, it's best to just not even try it. They're difficult to maneuver. They work for the period of time, and then they just fall off. So, I was depressed when it didn't work. Because, like, I was hoping that they would be, like, the holy grail. And I wouldn't have to put glue on my eyeliner. I mean, on my eye no more. Because, as you guys know, and if you don't know, glue ruins your eyelashes. People are like, why do you hold your eyeliner like that? Like, I was putting makeup on the other day, and my mom was like, why are you holding it like that? And I'm like, hmm. I just do. 
All right, we're going to go in with the bigger brush, which is a shading brush. I've got that dust. This thing puts dust out every time. And I'm going to use the gold color on the palette, which is um, this one here. The name of it is Lacuna, I think. I love Hank and Henry. I love him. If you guys don't know who Hank and Henry is, where are you at? Like, girl, watch it. He's addicting to watch. I was watching his live last night, actually, before I went to bed. And I was just like, I get so hooked. He's hilarious. And he's just, he's an angel, honestly. I know a lot of people in the world are just like, bored of the same people. But like, the fact that, I, the reason why I like him is because he literally is so down to earth. And he is so caring. Like, you know, like you can tell when someone's genuine. And he is genuine. I love him. Of course, he's on here trying to promote his stuff, which not I'm not knocking your hustle. I had an update. Somebody posted something on Facebook. Anyway. And then we're going to go in with the powder afterwards. But I'm going to go ahead and put another layer while the eyeliner is drying. I'm going to go ahead and put another layer of this foundation on with that beautiful sponge, which I'm now obsessed with. You guys need to check this out. If you haven't seen this website, do it. Go. Get you a sponge, girl. Get you a sponge. They have several different um, shapes and sizes. Obviously, because I got the uh, mini. I love it. I love the mini. The mini is, like, addicting. I can't believe I didn't bring an, a concealer. I may go ahead and put that primer, eyeshadow primer, under my eyes. And then put the powder on. Since I did not bring one. I don't know why I didn't bring concealer. I don't even have my setting spray. <laughs> oh, I didn't really want to put makeup on today. But I'm doing it for you guys because I love you. And you guys are my family. I have so many friends that I have now on here that are on my Instagram. If you guys don't know, I have an Instagram. And my name on there is Destiny's Vlog Channel. I actually have gotten a lot of feedback from my page. I literally just made it for fun to show you guys the makeup looks I make with the stuff that I buy. And I, I just love the fact that I can reach out and have friends. Even though they're on the internet, you know. I have social anxiety, so having friends on the internet is nice. Because there's days where I don't want to leave my house and do anything. And the way it blends. Mm. And it's not like cakey. It doesn't appear cakey on my skin. Of course, when I get done, I'll show you a close-up look. But it's, so far, everything is just great. I like this sponge. This is like my new favorite. I guess this foundation would be good if you're like just wanting to wear a light foundation and not have to like completely set your face and be perfect. This will be nice. I'm going to keep this in my carry bag, which is my Ipsy bag, if you guys don't know. I've been using my Ipsy bags. Yes. Some of them are really ugly and I don't wear them. But like this one, I like it. I am waiting for my BoxyCharm Steel or my Ipsy for this month. I'm actually still waiting on it to get here. I'm hoping it gets here soon because I want to review that for you guys as well. But whenever it comes, you guys know I'll be on here. Now, I'm going to use the edge of the Beauty Blender, the crease edge. And then I'm going to go in and just go under my eye. Like so. I can't believe I did not bring my primer. I mean, my concealer. I can't believe that. What was I thinking? I got everything else but the concealer. I don't know. Girl, I'm losing my mind. The eyeliner should be dry by now. The fact that it has the edges on it makes stuff easier. And I didn't get a lot of sleep, so. My face is darker than my neck. I see that. But I haven't self-tanned. I've been um, self-tanning. Because my tanning bed is down. Because my lights are broke. Alright, now this I've been using for a highlight. I got this in the Ipsy bag as well. It is Empire State from Shimmer Shadow. Oh my goodness, I can't see the name of it. Suba Beauty. I use it as a highlight on my face, but I'm going to probably do that after I do the setting powder. Of course, I'm going to break out the setting powder, you guys. Hey, y'all. We're going to use the new Beauty Blender and see how it works. You guys know I like to pack it under my eyes. Let me go ahead and use the little one. Let me see how easy they are to clean. Supposedly, you can use um, the brush cleaner for your sponge as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and try that too when I get done. Because some of my sponges are really gross. Girl. I don't know what I've been doing. I've been lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. I haven't been cleaning anything. Ugh. That's how you get broke out. That's probably why my face is breaking out. I don't know. 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with the edge and just lightly put it under my eyes. Look how easy that is. I love this. Alright, you guys. I stand for these powders. Our mini sponges. Holy moly. Shout out to YouTube Chick for showing me this because I'm obsessed. Okay, and then I'm just going to go around my problem areas where I usually get oily. I get oily in my T-zone a lot. You can see my wrinkles. Like, I'm getting so old. I will be 27. The way it puts the powder on, too. Holy moly. Where have I been? Like, what am I doing with my life? Why didn't I know about this? Thank God for YouTube, right? This is where I'm going to order my sponges from now on. Like, no more buying them off the dollar store wall. Like, I'm buying them from Shop Miss Hat. You did the damn thing, girl. The way that it applies the powder. Like, a lot of the beauty blenders that I use just, like, dust it off and it smears. It don't really set. This, on the other hand, is just, like, perfect absolutely amazing i love it you guys you guys you guys go get these sponges oh they're affordable too so you don't have to spend like i think like a beauty blender is like 30 dollars 40 bucks maybe even more okay now we're gonna let that set now here comes the interesting part the lashes you guys i think i'm gonna go with Hmm. I don't know which ones to go with. I think I'm going to go with Jessica. Or Chrissy. I already opened this one, so we'll just use this one. Okay, of course you guys know you probably have to cut these to make them fit. you got to pull the glue off. The band is quite thick, I will tell you that. Which isn't a good thing for me. Because the thicker it is, the harder it is to conceal. But I did buy the black eyeliner. I mean the black glue. To match my eyeliner so maybe it may not be too bad i don't know i've seen people use these um let me see if it fits first before i stick it on oh my gosh these are so cute make sure you have them on the right eyes you guys a lot of eyelashes come with like the lower end on the one side and then higher on the other that way you can just like you know where it goes but always know that they go like this when you hold them up to you. This one goes to this side. This one goes to the other. So don't get it backwards. Be like me and just completely forget and just stick them there. And then you're stuck with the glue on your eyelid and you're so mad because it won't come off. <laughs> I love the fact that it has a felt tip. I love that so much. Okay. So this actually goes to this eye. I don't know what I was thinking with the other one. Another thing, they come... On one side's always longer, so that way you can trim it and make it fit. I do have my tiny pair of scissors here with me. I do not forget these, because I'm always having to cut, like, my lashes, so. You can cut that little end off, and it looks like this now. Okay. Now we're going to apply them. Okay. Make sure they're the same size and all that jazz. The normal stuff. Okay, we're going to break out the glue that we bought from AOA, from Shop Miss A. And then we're going to put it on the band. I love the fact that it's precision. Ew. Listen. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Dirty mind. Hello. Okay, we're just going to put it on the band like you normally do any other lash. Of course. And then you wait. But, like I said before, you guys, I want to address the fact that people are freaking out about this virus. Like, it's just a strand of flu. It's just like any other flu that we receive every season of being sick. Just, you gotta be more precautious. Wash your hands. Take a bath. Don't go to the bathroom. Do your doo-doo. And then wipe and not wash. That's gross. But everyone's literally spazzing over this. And I'm like, what is going on? The world is losing its mind. A lot of people are hyping it up to be worse than it actually probably is. Now, I'm not downplaying it like Donald Trump. No offense, dude, but you could have, like, stopped 
he could have stopped travel. You know what I mean? He should have shut down travel. That would have helped out a lot. If he would have shut down travel between countries and states. They did close school in my area, though. Like, the kids don't go back to school until further notice, so we don't know when they'll go back. The kids are excited, of course, but I don't know. I just, I'm scared for everybody. Like, little babies are dying. Old people are dying. Like, and, like, whenever they announced that it was killing elders, I was, like, thankful that, I don't want to say this to be mean, but I was thankful that my mama isn't in effect with this because a lot of things could go down like my, my mama was very sick when she was alive she did pass away unfortunately three years ago of a kidney failure and i was like in a way i was thankful that she's not here to deal with this but in, i miss her so much i literally miss her my family is still dealing with the loss of my cousin if you guys don't know or if you haven't watched my past videos i was on there talking about my cousin he actually passed away in a very bad car accident about a month ago it'll be a month tomorrow matter of fact and we miss him so much and he had like such a personality he would help anyone he had such a big personality and we love him so much we miss him I, the songs they played at his funeral come on the radio and I just cry in the car I, just, I cried one day coming to work because I just, just I miss him so much if you have a cousin that's more like a brother to you, I, I'm so happy for you because that's what he was to me. He was like my brother. And the fact that he's gone, it makes you feel empty. But here's the lashes. I do need to cut them back a little bit. They're a little too big, but they're cute nonetheless. Let me pull it up here. They're way too long for my lashes. I should have cut it back this way. This is just for you guys, so... Mm, okay. A lot of you ask if I have fake lash, I mean fake eyes. I don't. My eyes are really this blue. Like, literally. In a way, it's a good thing because it's cute and all. It's fun. But, like, in another way, it sucks because, like, the light reflects in my eyeballs and it just blinds me. And I get migraines because of it. They actually said that's what it's caused by. My intense migraines was because my eyelids, my eyes are so bright and they just, you know. Now, I don't know if I have a brush with me. I don't even think I brought my big brush. I usually dust these off with. Dust the powder off with. Oh, no, I didn't, did I? Huh. Okay, so I'll just use the beauty blender. And bounce it away. Oh, my goodness. This, oh, my goodness. This beauty blender. This beauty blender is life. And then just go into my skin. I have so many breakouts, it's unreal. I wish I'd have bought a mascara from there. I don't know if they have mascara, but I think they do. I should have bought a mascara and an eyeliner to go with it, but I didn't. I was, at the time, I was just thinking, I need things, and I'm going to buy what I need and not just buy extra. I should have bought what I needed and extra <laughs> for a whole look. But, yeah, I like this. I do have mascara, though, that I bought at the dollar store. And it is the um, Total Temptation by Maybelline New York. Good eyes, good eyeliner. I mean, good. <sighs> what is it called? Mascara. Brain fart. All right, now I'm going to go in with the, the banana powder. I don't think this is going to work for me. I don't know. It's kind of yellow. I don't know. But I'm going to press it in. In the uh, area right here. I'm not going to go too big into it because I might keep this look for the day. But Lord. Oh wow. It's just a setting powder or finishing powder, I think, or HD powder. Setting powder. So it's a set your face. And I'm already yellowish orange now, so this is just a little bit too much for me. Oh boy. What I should have done was just took the Seate London setting powder and put it under my eyes and then went the rest of the face with this. But that's the look for the day, so at least I get done with the video because I might take this back off and start over. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. So I'm done, you guys. This is it for you guys. I hope you liked everything that I got in my package. I am waiting for Ipsy, and I will review it on my channel when I receive it. Um, if they don't shut down mailing because they have shut down literally everything in my city or my state. Better yet, they have shut down everything. Like, you can't go to, um, you can't leave the state. Um, 
without worrying about getting it. So I just don't really want to tempt it right now. I just want to stay home and be safe. You guys, wash your hands. I can't express this enough. I have an obsession with washing my hands. So I know I'm going to wash my hands. So, But wash your hands, you guys. Stay safe. Don't be drinking out of people's pops. Just normal stuff when you get a flu going around, you know. It's just, it's a very very tough don't buy all the toilet paper out everybody save some for other people and if you see someone if you do buy it or you happen to get it and you're and you're nice like me and hopefully a lot of you donate to those who don't have there's people that don't have there's children out here right now that don't even have food they're at home um with uh you know schools rely a lot of kids rely on the food at school to eat so help those that need it and just just help each other out you guys you know so this is it you guys this is the eyelashes I used. Um, these are, again, Jessica, or no, Chrissy. These are $1.88 a pack. You can buy these. And then I might do, in in a future video, I may do these for you guys. I may do this the day I get my um, Ipsy bag. So, yeah. But this is the foundation coverage. So far, it, it's light coverage, like I said. It doesn't cover everything. My face is still showing red right here. And, like, around the crease of my nose. But, I mean, for, like, coverage for a dollar, you can't really complain too much. It was a dollar. The lashes are to live for. I love their lashes. I don't know how they do it, but I love their lashes so much. But, that's it, you guys. The video is almost an hour long. I'm sorry for talking and boring you half to death. But I just really want to come on here and interact with you guys. And just have a good video where I'm putting on the makeup that I bought. And just kind of review it and show you guys what it looks like and how it works. Hopefully this helps you decide whether you want to buy from them or not. Or if you've never heard from them and you'd like to try them. Um, I vote that you try them. The foundation isn't the best. I will get. I will say that. But these sponges are absolutely to die for. I love these. I mean sponges and brushes. The brushes, I love those too. They work just as well. I mean, very good brushes, of course. They're small. I mean, the size of my hand. And I have small hands, so... These would be good for this bag. This is what I bought them for, actually, was to put in here and to carry with me when I'm out. And then I can leave my good brushes, which are my motor brushes, at home when I clean them and I don't have to dirty them. So, yeah, I'm happy with the, sh with the shipment, to be honest. I'm happy with the whole, the purchase was nice. They are kind of slow when it comes to shipping, so I advise you to wait till a Tuesday. Because I think that I read on there that they have dollar shipping every Tuesday. So, buy on Tuesdays if you want sh free shipping or cheap shipping, better yet. You guys... I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, God bless. Bye.